Hey guys, it's Ryan here with Dex3. Today we're going to showcase a feature that's related to history. Now history is in both Dex3 and Dex3RE, and it's a running log of everything you've ever played in Dex3. When you play a track, the software will automatically send that track to the history list and date and timestamp it. Therefore, you can click on history, which is just a list, a uh, special list located under the special list section of the browser on the left hand side navigation pane. When you click history, it'll give you your running log. And as you can see in here, every track is date and time stamped. So you can browse through here and locate, you know, a specific range of tracks fairly quickly. Of course, if you've been using the software for a while and you've never cleared your history, that can be a lot of data to scan through. So to locate a date may not be too easy, right? So what we've added here is a way to filter the history by date. In order to utilize this function, you first need to click on the history list and then click on any track in the middle section to make sure the focus is in this, you know, the middle section of the browser here, your track list pane. Then right click and from the pop-up menu, go up and click on the option to filter history by date. When you click that, you're going to get a little pop-up here that says select date at the top and it looks just like a calendar. Now I'll go back, you can go back or as far as you possibly can since you were tracking history in Dex3, I'll go back to, I don't know, July of last year, we'll go back almost a year here and July 20th. So just click on the specific date you want to filter your history list by and just click OK. So now I've got everything I played on July 20th showing up in the middle section of the browser here in the track pane. So that's that's it. You filtered your history list by that specific date and it's only going to show that specific date. So now if I want to utilize this track list again, maybe it was a great gig and I want to rep, you know, replicate what happened there and keep the dance floor rocking, I can then right click in this middle section here in the pane and select the option to send all to side list auto mix list. So it'll just quickly propagate this entire side list auto mix list with all the tracks that you filtered. So it's only going to send over here your filtered results from that specific date. Now you can also obviously create a permanent playlist or user list from this date. So if I want to permanently save it, we'll just use one of these other lists. Let me just clear it out real quick. I've got a clear test list. Go back to my filtered history here. And now I can just select the range of songs. And you do this much like you do on, in, on a Mac or, or any you know, PC, is you just click on the first track in the list, scroll to the bottom, hold down Shift on your keyboard, and click the last track. It'll highlight everything in between. Now I can click on any of the highlighted tracks and just drag and drop right on top of the playlist I want to move everything to. So now you've got this test list created from that specific date range or that specific date. And that's all there is to it. Now one more thing you need to know is obviously once you've filtered the history list, it's going to stay until you otherwise tell it that you no longer want to be filtering your history list. In order to get it back to um, non-filtered to no filter. Once again, click on a track in the middle section of the browser in the track list pane here. Right click, go back up to filter history by date, and click on none. And as soon as you do so, the results won't be filtered any further. That's all there is to it, but it's a really handy feature, especially if you're one of those that loves to use go back and use specific dates from history. A lot easier than browsing and trying to find the date. You can simply filter your history results. If you have any questions about the filter history by date function, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thanks.